Well, hello, friends. Today we're going to do something a little different. Um, I'm going to make a Hello World app and uh, show you how to do it. So um, it's going to be a graphical app, and um, I guess we'll just get right into it. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is make a new directory here called Demos. Um, and uh, in Demos, we're going to make um, Hello World. And then what I like to do is I just take the make file of some existing app, like I'm going to take the terminal, for instance, just copy that into Hello World, and then I'll edit the make file um, so that it, it just has like a main.o object, um, and we'll edit the name of the app that it produces. So we'll call it like Hello World, like that. Uh, I can leave the rest as it is, because this just means that it, um, it will build the app, the app based on this one object file that will be generated from um, main.cpp automatically, and then it will link to these Serenity libraries here. So, so this is all um, good. And um, then I'm also going to create a file here um, called main.cpp, and then I do a little trick so that my cube creator um, automatically finds this file, but uh, of course you can edit it in any um, any editor you like. I like using cube creator. So uh, let's see. Let's close all of this and open it up. So where did it go? Here is this empty file. Okay, and of course we can also go into this directory here. Just verify that make works. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is include libgui um, g application, um, and that's the very first object that we're going to want to create. So g application provides the um, event loop that everything uh, sort of orients around in the libgui application. So the way you construct this is that you just pass it the um, arguments that you get to main, and um, then the very last thing you do in main is called app.exec, app and this is the part that will instantiate, or not instantiate, but this is the part that will run the event loop. Um, but of course, doing only this is not going to be very interesting. Uh, as you can see, it compiles now. Um, but this will just be an empty app that just sits there and does nothing. So let's add a window. So we're going to need libgui g window, um, and let's uh, the way I, I write this normally is that I just um, do a new g window, and then I would call something like uh, set rect, um, and then I have to put the window somewhere on the screen. So let's put it like uh, you know at 100 pixels in from the top and the left, and then we'll make it like 300 by 200, or Oops, Jesus, this is not what I wanted. <laughs> uh, why not 64480 um, for that, uh, that divine resolution? Okay, and then we'll also give it a title. Call it like Hello World. Okay, and um, why don't we try building this and I'll show you how to install it. So the way that I install um, stuff normally is that I go in the kernel directory and I have this um, script here called sync.sh and the um, job of the script is to uh, create um, a testing file system and then format that file system and then copy everything over like it creates all of the directory structure um, creates all the device files and then it copies over all of the different binaries into the right places so whenever I add a new app, I just go into this file here and I do something like um, cp, um, what was it called, demos, hello world, hello world, to mount bin, um, hello world. Um, yeah, so you just copy what, what these lines do here and then you just add that to the thing. Um, and then all you have to do is run um, sudo sync.sh and of course type your password and it will create the file system and everything will be ready to run. And then here in my terminal, I can now type to a world and nothing will happen. And 
Why is nothing happening? Well, that's because we create this window, but we never show it. So we have to call window dash, uh, not dash show, window show. Um, and then, of course, we have to rebuild and then resync. So I like to chain my commands like this because it makes it a little easier uh, typing. So we'll try again. Hello world. Okay, here it is. Of course, this window here doesn't paint anything, but it is creating a window with hello world in it. Um, and the fact that it doesn't paint anything is actually an optimization that uh, you can opt into. So it's for um, it's up to you to decide that the window actually um, should have anything in it because there might be some situation where you want to do something special where the window shouldn't um, do anything to draw itself. But in our case, we definitely want something in the window. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a widget. And for that, we're going to have to include gwidget. And then we will create a new widget um, like this. And we will say that um, the, this will be the main widget of the window. And then, um, so the widget, they make up a widget tree, and the, um, the root of every widget tree is the main widget in a window. And the main widget is sort of the, um, the place where all of the hit testing from mouse events and all of the painting and, and uh, everything um, everything will, will sort of be funneled through there. So the, the main widget is responsible for um, delegating stuff to, to its children and to its um, various, um, what's it called, descendants. Okay, so, so now we have a main widget in the window and then we'll uh, say widget um, set fill with background color. And we will set a background color, how about color light gray, or why not color white? It is okay to have a white background color window. Okay, there we go. Um, so this is what we have so far. So we just create a widget and we set it to be the window main widget and then we um, tell it to fill the background and we set the background to white. Now um, we are going to want to show something in this window, right? So uh, we're going to add a label, I think. So let's go ahead and um, make a thingy like this. Auto label is new g label and then we say we pass the widget here to the constructor and that means that this label will be inserted as a child of widget um, and then we can do something like set text hello world and we also, also so so for the main widget um, the, the, the size of the main widget will be expanded automatically to fit the size of the window. So it will be perfectly exactly the same shape as the window. But for any other widget, so like the children of the main widget, we have to tell them how big they are. So we have to say set relative rect. Um, relative means that it's relative to its parent widget, uh, the main widget in this case. Um, actually, we can even rename this um, here just to make this crystal clear. Um, so we say set relative rect. Um, how about uh, 30, 30, 200, 100. Um, and we can also give this thing a background. Show with background color. True. And they will um, set background color. Why don't we make it light gray? or it's maybe dark gray so we can see it. So I just want to show you how this ends up. So then we will rebuild and then we run. Hello world. Okay, so now we have this hello world G label up here. 
And as you can see, when we resize the window, the label stays in the same place. And very often, this is just fine. Uh, it is very, very tedious to, to, of course, to build a large UI by specific, specifying the coordinates like this manually. And, and this is uh, actually why I'm building a um, the Visual Builder interface design app um, to, to simplify uh, creating interfaces this way. But uh, doing it manually like this is just a pain. So, so of course, there's an alternative to this, which is um, the layout system. So uh, currently, there is one main layout class that's called Gbox Layout. And uh, well, what you would do is that you would um, set a layout on the main widget here, in this case. So we will make a uh, Gbox layout. And we'll pass the orientation and we'll say vertical. Um, so make, by the way, it's a macro, it's not a macro, it's a, it's a helper function that's very similar to um, make unique in the um, STL. Uh, it works exactly the same, it's just that it will give you an own putter rather than a unique putter. And own putter is my um, not invented here version of unique putter, basically. Um, so yeah, so this is just uh, creating a new Gbox layout with a vertical orientation and assigning that to be the layout of the main widget. And that means that there's no longer any point to uh, specifying the dimensions of the child widget because they will be um, set up automatically by the layout. And since we have only one child widget, you'll see what happens. It will be filling the entire main widget. So uh, now the G label is expanded by the box layout to fill up the entire main widget. Um, so uh, we can let's let's get rid of the background color of the label and just leave it like this. And let's add a uh, another widget here. So let's add a button. So G button, and we are going to need to include G button .h. Okay, and it will also be a child of the main widget. And we will call um, set caption. Um, goodbye. Okay, now um, the, the, the behavior of the box layout in this case is going to be to just use all of the available space and divide it evenly between the two. So up here is the label and down here is the button, as you can see. So they both just expand to use up half of the available space each um, vertically. All right. So the way that you would um, do this differently now is that you would you would tell the button uh, you would give it a different size policy it's called so we would say that the size policy um, there are two size policies there's the, the horizontal one and the vertical one and uh, we'll say that the horizontal policy should be fill which means it will just expand the, the available space but the vertical size policy should be fixed and then if um, if any of your size policies are fixed, then um, the layout mechanism will consult the preferred size of the widget. So then we will um, set a preferred size. So the first one is the horizontal one, it doesn't matter because it's filled, but the second one is fixed. So we will look at this one and we'll say, okay, so how about 20 pixels? Um, and now when Gbox layout runs on this thing, it will uh, it will only allow that thing to be 20 pixels tall. So you can see here on the bottom, this guy here is now only 20 pixels tall, um, which is closer to a uh, reasonable height for a button. Um, and um, another thing that we would like to do here probably is to call uh, set some margins on the layout. So. Normally the way I do this is that you can access the layout after it's been set. You can just access it by calling layout on a widget. Um, and you call set margins and it takes a G margins, which is um, it's, it's just a, a, it's four values, left, top, right, bottom, um, pixel margins for the thing. So I usually I just set it up like this. Just pass in four values. And this should give us a little bit of a more 
uh, reasonable look for the thing. The world. Right, so you see now there's a little bit of uh, space down here and it looks a little better. Okay, cool. And I think this window is stupidly huge, so let's just change it down to 300 by 200, or maybe even 240 by 160. I think that's a bit nicer. Okay. And um, now we uh, should maybe make that button do something. So how about we make it exit the app? And uh, the way that you hook a button up to do something is that you assign um, a callback to the onclick uh, handler. Um, so in this case, we will make a, a lambda that just captures uh, whatever, everything by reference, who cares. Um, and I think this is how it works. Uh, oops, let me look that up right quick. Uh, no, it takes the button, it passes the button to the lambda, but we can just do it like this. Oh, I already did that this way, just to illustrate. Um, and in this case, what we want to do is just say like app dot quit, right? Um, oh, we have to pass a code. Um, okay. Maybe that should be, uh, actually that should be an automatic exit code. Okay, so that you can do that. Slightly nicer, okay. Hello world. Okay, see? And then when you press this, the app will quit. Um, yeah, so, so that's basically how it works. Um, and uh, there's, of course, like a, a huge number of other widgets and stuff that uh, you can play with and, and lib GUI. This was just uh, really just showing a basic G widget, a uh, label, and a button. And just to, to get you started if you want to ever play with this. Um, so I'm going to add this to the repository after I, I clean it up a little bit. Um, but basically, I think I think this is what I wanted to show today. So uh, yeah, so if you made it this far, then I, I thank you for watching. And uh, I hope you saw something interesting here. And I will see you next time.